There she is, the spirit of Massachusetts, a 125-foot replica of a Gloucester-style fishing ship. She looks 100 years old. It was actually not that old. It was built in 1984. Um, it was the last ship built at the Charlestown Navy Shipyard in Boston. Um, and there, from there, it went sailing across the world. It was an educational vessel. Students would sail the seas, learning all about maneuvering and mastering a schooner. And they had high school students, college age students. It was a ocean classrooms, so they some people did a week or so, like a small program, and some people did full semesters at sea. The ship became a goodwill ambassador for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. A tour of the cabin area, and you can see where the students slept. The old bunks, though, have now been converted into booth seating. Perfectly with the cushions and the table right in there. They like a four to five top table. It's perfect. On the upper deck, a massive wraparound bar that seats 50. And in the galley, executive chef Michael Somerset turning out impressive small plates. And what's it like to work in this kind of a tiny galley kitchen? Challenging. You have to get creative. And the dishes are creative, too, such as lobster sushi and pan-seared scallops. Dwight Raymond, a boat builder by trade, spotted the deteriorating spirit in Portland last year, snapped it up for a bargain, and moved it to his marina in Kennebunk with the dream of turning it into a floating restaurant. The easy part was restoring the boat. The tough part was getting through the town to have a floating restaurant. Raymond finally won the town over. It took us about two months to get the boat stripped, repainted, and seaworthy and get the mass in and then we brought it down here and we worked on it most of a winter under a cover uh, doing all the interior work. And they opened for business this June and since then customers and tourists have been flocking to the spirit ever since. Killer. Absolutely quintessential New England. Right? Can't get any more quintessential. There's, I can't remember the last time we've had, had a meal of any location like this so it's definitely impressive. The owner says he's still waiting for the Bush family to pay a visit. Their people are working on it. Meanwhile, he says former captains, uh, students, even one of the men who helped build the spirit have paid a visit to dine here. They were a little uh, apprehensive about me making a restaurant out of it because they, they're romantics and they want to see her sail, but uh, it was better than the alternative. If we didn't buy it, they were going to cut it up and destroy it. Its mission now, passing on the ship's history and serving up main fare to the tourists who come aboard for a taste of Maine. In Kennebunk, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.